All right, next is I Am Legend, starring Will Smith, only Will Smith. Um, it also has cameo by his daughter, Willow. She's adorable. Um, she was so cute. Um, there's like at the end, there's like one or two people, like a woman and child, and I don't really understand the point of them. <laughs> Um, I understand the point of them, but they come so late in the movie, like, I don't care that much about them. So, I just don't understand, like, why the point, why they brought him in the first place. I mean, it's like, if you're going to introduce, like, those characters, you could have probably done it sooner. So you can understand better about what they're there for, but, like, But, um, I like the movie a lot. Sam the dog. The dog. Figure it out for yourself what that means. Um, and it was a very emotional movie. I cried a lot. A lot, a lot. <laughs> um, well, Smith's respect for animals just makes me so happy. Like, even in I Am Robot, he saves a cat's life. And I'm just like... Can you, can you just, why are you so perfect? Because if somebody respects an animal, they have my heart. They really do because I love animals a lot. And if an actor in a movie goes out of their way for them, and yeah, I'm going to like them. Just like in High Noon, Gary uh, Cooper uh, rescues horses after their barn is getting like set on fire. He saves all of the horses. It's just like... I love that. I just love it. I don't, I don't, I love it. They're not just like, oh, it's just the animals. It's just like, oh, gotta save it. And, um, I just love it so much. I love it. So, yeah, I like the dog in this movie a lot. It was so cute. It was a nice companion for Will because, like I said, you're the only one in this movie. <laughs> like, honestly, till like the end of it, he's the only person. Um, they, they show, like, flashbacks of his family and such, but, like, yeah, he's the only person in the, in the, in this movie. Kind of, like, cast away with, a Tom Hanks and the volleyball, but this is, like, dog. Um, and the dog does not last very long. <laughs> um, so, yeah, he's just alone, and, like, there's no people like the people are mannequins and he like talks to them like they're real and um you're not and it's kind of sad <laughs> to see um especially through the emotional part and he just like realizes that he's alone and it's so sad um until he meets um the last remaining people there, and, um, like I said, I don't understand their, why they introduced them so late in the movie, where you absolutely have no caring for them, like, I did not care about the new people at the end, because I was just like, what are they here for, like, I just, I just did not understand the purpose of them. And I really still don't understand. I understand what they had to do and whatever. But I wish that I could have at least, like, talked about them a little bit. You know? So you know who they are and what they're there for and their background. But, like, to just bring them in. Like, literally at the end. And it's like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't understand what's going on. Um... Yeah, but other than that, it was a really good movie, and I recommend it a lot. Yeah. Give it two thumbs up, five out of five. Well, actually, four out of five. Like I said, the ending was kind of weird for me. But, um, yeah, it was good. The ending was just like, mm. <laughs> But, uh, I love it, so that is all. Cool. Mm.